I think it's everything to this Port Albert community, to be fair. Um, without, without that, um, you know, I think there'd be tens of thousands of people locally and, and sort of across the UK which uh, would, uh, would, would suffer as a result if the sewers was closed. Obviously, we, we, we employ around 250 people um, within the contracts that we look after, so that obviously supports their, their families and puts, puts sort of food on the table. Um, but also, we sort of corporate social responsibility side, um, we try and sponsor as much as we can in the local area. Um, so, in particular, we sponsor the Tata Steel Football Club. Um, so, um, I think without the sponsorship that we, we give to those guys, then they wouldn't be able to pay their ground rent to be able to, uh, to, be able to keep a football. Um, so um, on, uh, on top of that, um, we also look after and, and help support with um, some of the local sort of fund runs and charity runs and that type of thing. So trying to assist in the in the community as much as we can, really. We try to source as much as we can locally. Um, so uh, all of our you know, PPE consumables and those types of things, um, which we spend a lot of money on on a, a sort of daily basis, really. Um, but yeah, our, our main supplier is in Lethley, um in, in, in West Wales. Um, and there are lots of other consumable suppliers, but say mainly in the, the South Wales area. Yeah, if the seal works was to go, it would be devastating for the area. You know, there's probably tens of thousands of people whose you know, families and lives it would affect for sure, um, as well as you know, other suppliers then into the business, um, everything from you know, catering, consumables, oil, grease, gas, whatever it may be.